The trend for cycling sunglasses seems to be going wider is better. We've got two sunglasses here for you today to try out that I've reviewed. The first pair is 100% S3. They retail for $175 and you get a lot of sunglass with that. The next one is the Oakley Sutro and you get a lot of sunglasses with that with quite a few features. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm Brian Coe, welcome to VeloWorthy. If it's your first time here, go ahead and hit subscribe so you can get the notifications and alerts for new videos coming soon. So, when it comes to sunglasses, it is a very, very personal choice. With these first ones, these are 100%. They come from a motocross background, but they've worked their way into cycling and have done a really good job. These are the S3s, and the S3s come in a number of different shapes, or I'm sorry, a number of different colorways. The lenses are very easy to change out by taking off this nose piece and pulling down this lower portion in a snap. And then it also has these lower holes in the bottom as vents to prevent any kind of fogging up. Now there is no sunglass that is 100% completely anti-fog. If you have enough humidity and enough sweat and enough moisture, uh, you can fog up just about anything, but 100% S3s do a really good job with that. Now, with the S3s, they come with a lot of different things. First of all, all 100% sunglasses come with a clear lens. Now, if you were to buy the lens on its own from other manufacturers, it may cost you north of $50, but these come standard with every pair. And I know that for a lot of you, you wake up early in the morning and you need something a little bit clear when the light isn't as prominent. The other thing about S3s is they do not come custom. They do have a lot of different colors and a lot of different designs, but you cannot get them custom like you can do Oakley. With Oakley, you can do custom, but it comes at a premium. We're going to get to Oakley in just a second, but one of the things I wanted to share with you, this was loaned to me by 100%, is they do these special edition glasses. And for those of you familiar with Southern California, BWR is a downright institution in Southern California, the Belgian Waffle Ride, and 100% has actually come out and made a BWR edition sunglasses. So it's got the same colors. It says BWR right there. In the lower portion of the lens, it has a really cool etching of the Lion of Flanders. And these are perfect for those dusty, windy days on the dirt as well as on the roads of North County, San Diego. Oakley does not do this, but this is one of the things 100% does do. All of their sunglasses come with a, care, a wipe cloth or carrying cloth, and then they also come with uh, this sort of microfiber towel that's really thick compared to some others. And while I was writing these, they fit really, really well and offer a lot of coverage on my face, almost going down to the lower portion of the cheek and higher above the eyebrow than what I'm used to. Uh, but go ahead and check it out 100%. Uh, the S3s are the one I'm using. Now, a comparable sunglass to that is the other one, which is the Oakley Sutro. This sunglass is considered to be a very modern sunglass with retro styling. Now this hard case also is a zippered case that comes with a cloth, but unfortunately no replacement lens. 
When you do put these on though, and you try them on, you can swap out lenses, which admittedly is a little bit more difficult to do than the 100%. You have to mess with the nose piece. And also because this frame wraps all the way around, you have to pop the lens out, hopefully without scratching it. But I've already replaced the lenses once on these Sutros. Out on the rides though, they're a, not as wide as the 100%, they're a little bit more narrow, and it uses what's called their prism technology, which helps with the contrast, helps in medium light conditions, and also when it's on your head and you have your helmet straps on, these things do stay in place. In fact, a lot of times you don't even realize they're on. A lot of times what we do is we also like to take them, flip them upside down like this, stick them in the holes of your helmet, and they hold really well. They don't actually interfere with your vision, but on those days when you're wanting to not wear the sunglasses and you just want to have them either down here on the jersey, a lot of people put them in the back of their jersey because their jersey's unzipped. My helmet's actually equipped with two holes for sunglasses and they sit right in. They work well with both these and the 100 percent. One thing I do like about the Oakley is that you can customize just about everything from the lens to what color the nose piece is to the arms right down to what color logo you want to use. It has a full customization feature, but <clears throat> it's not cheap. It does come at a premium. Right now though, you can find Oakley Sutro sunglasses on the website for around $116 and if you want to dig even further, you can always find used versions of these as Oakley seems to be everywhere all the time. But I've been wearing these for about a couple of years. And so far, these are the best Oakleys I've owned. I've had the Jawbone and the Razor and all the skinnier versions of their cycling sunglasses. But these to me, I like the best. I think they look the best as well. So how do these stack up with the S3? Well, it's close. I wanna talk about some of the features that I liked and I didn't like about the S3. One thing that I really liked is all the options that you can get. You get a lot of sunglass for that $175 price. Now, when it comes to writing, the same thing happens with the Oakleys. There's no fog, there's tons of coverage. Anything that hits you is not only gonna protect your eyes, but also the lower part of your eyes and eyebrows for that matter. And for some people, they don't like that much coverage when you put them on. For other people, they practically want a face shield. But one thing I did notice is that the top of this frame right here actually occasionally came into contact with my helmet. So I had to adjust my helmet up slightly so I wouldn't be hitting this on the bottom of the helmet brim. The other thing too is I like these holes that help with anti-fog. I've ridden with these on some chillier mornings and this seems to help. You also get a good periphery side protection with these glasses and I like the styling as well. This one in particular is a purple to blue fade. And if you look on the arms, they have these little rubberized grips on them. So when you do put them on, they're secure. And when you sweat, obviously on your nose and the side of your head, these tend to stay on a little bit more. They don't get slippery or fall off. You can find these just about uh, in every colorway you can imagine on the 100% website. They're a local company from San Diego, again, with a motocross heritage, but they are making huge, huge strides into cycling. And more of the group rides I go on, there are more 100% that I do see. I don't often wear clear lenses with them, but I do like having the option of changing it out on some of those cloudy or clear days 
in Southern California. These are great for late evening writing or early morning writing. They're not photochromatic, which means they don't change uh, darkness when it comes to the amount of light coming out. Uh, but Oakley does make those. Uh, again, they are very, very expensive uh, as photochromatic lenses do get to be very expensive, but it's always good to have a backup pair. And this plus the S3 stock lens at $175, if you do the math, actually is not that much more expensive compared to the Oakley Sutro. So these two glasses both are not cheap as cycling is getting more and more expensive but if you're going to invest in anything while you ride other than i would say good tires good gloves and good shoes i would put sunglasses in there as well between these two sunglasses i would say the 100 slightly edges out the oakley sutro again the styling's not for everybody you have to find what works well on your face but I do know for me, the S3s are the type of sunglass that I could use year round, and it's always good to have those backup lenses. So what kind of sunglasses do you use? Do you stick with Oakley 100% or another brand? Let me know in the comments. Again, don't forget to subscribe to get more videos and content like this, but until next time, stay Velo-worthy.